Uh, hi, in this video, we will talk about browser context with multiple tab scenarios. So in our previous video, we have seen that browser context, multiple page scenarios. As part of that, we created two browser contexts and each context we created different page. And with the help of different pages, I opened different two different browsers and I navigated to two different applications. That is possible that we discussed in our previous video. Okay. So it opens a browser and it opens another browser. The reason is this is a different context. There are two different contexts. But in this section, what we are going to discuss, we want multiple tabs, not multiple browsers or pages. So that is also possible. Here, you see that this is common code, which we already discussed in our first Playwright program. Playwright, Playwright is equal to Playwright.create and browser type, browser type is equal to Playwright.chromium and browser browser equal browser type dot launch launch options dot set headless is false means it will execute in the headed mode not headless mode so after that browser context browser context is equal browser dot new context so this will create new incognito browser context right on top of this i can create a page so page page is equals to what is that browser context dot new page. So this is very simple that we already discussed in our previous videos. So with the help of this page, you can perform what actions you want to perform on that particular page. Right. So for that, what we need to do page dot navigate. First, I need to go to that particular application. So HTTPS dev dot automation testing dot in. But in our previous video, what we did page one dot navigate, but page one is created on top of browser context to one. So there are two different browser contexts. Then you can create multiple pages, but in this, I want multiple tabs. So I don't need to create a separate context on the same context. I can create another page page. Page one is equals to, we will use the same browser context. Okay. In our previous video, we used browser context one and browser context one dot new page on this page one. But here, only one browser context. On that browser context, I am creating two new pages. One is page, another is page one. Now, if I try to page one dot navigate HTTP colon demo dot automation testing dot in. Okay. And I want to see the execution properly. So otherwise it will close automatically. I'll wait for 10 seconds. So now what it will do, it will open only one browser with two new tabs. One tab will navigate to dev.automationtesting.in and another tab will go to demo.automationtesting.in. Okay. So we'll try to execute and see whether it is executing as per our expectations or not. But observe carefully. You see that one tab went to demo dev dot automation and another tab went to demo dot automation. You see two tabs. One is one application, another is another application. After 10 seconds, it will close the browser. Okay. So this is how if you want to open multiple tabs on a particular browser, you can create a context on that particular context, create different pages. So different page acts as a different tab. This is one tab and this is another tab if you use on the same browser context. But if you use this in a different browser context, this is a separate browser and this is another bro separate browser. Okay. So this is how you can open multiple tabs and you can interact according to your requirement. This option is available in Playroom. Okay. So that's all in this video. Thank you for watching this video. Please like the video, share the video and put your thoughts in the comment section and subscribe to the channel for further interesting updates. Thank you.